Well, it's time for my uh, two-year review of the CRF 250L. It's two-year-old now and it's uh, 11,000 miles. I've just done an oil and filter change and uh, took her out for a run and she's a bit dirty. I changed the oil last time at uh, about 5,000. Taking off the first service, that meant the oil had about 4,000 miles. So, this time I pushed it to about six. At 6,000 mile it would be empty, so I'm going to keep it to 5k and just ignore the, the general 8,000 mile changes. I really love the bike. Took it to the Pyrenees this year, 5,000 mile round trip, and uh, 350 mile days, no problem. Right, what have I done since last time? Well, the big thing I did was uh, load the uh, suspension. This is a Kuba loading link, and it drops it by about inch and a half, inch and three quarters. For me, that's tremendous because I can flat foot the bike now. I don't need the enhanced ground clearance, so I rarely take up the road. <coughs> so that's fine. Also, I uh, dropped the forks and the yokes. Right, what's next? Tires. This is the original GP21. 11,000 miles. Might get it to 12. For what I do, it's fine. It's uh, not too good off road, they say, but I've never noticed it. The hard gravel tracks I've been doing and road work, perfect. So that's that. The rear tire. I had 5,000 out of the rear uh, GP, changed that to a uh, Heidenau K60. After a couple of thousand miles, the K60 was uh, looking a bit worn and I didn't think it'd make it down to the Pyrenees and back, so I put this E07 Mitas on at 7,000, so 11 now. It's done four and I think it'll probably manage six plus which is fantastic for a bike which really doesn't have a cush drive and it gets taken off road. That's that. The uh, handlebars. Now I put risers on for the Pyrenean trip because I was doing a bit off road and uh, they're fine. I just leave them on. I've got a spare clutch cable there just in case I need to change out. And uh, just tucks away there quite neatly. Just leave that there. I put a 12 volt socket on. Normally I uh, tuck that away a bit neater. And that's uh, just perfect for uh, putting my sat nav or using my air pump. I have an air pump that I carry uh, in the back. If I do get a puncture, I'm hoping I can just blow it up, take it somewhere convenient to work on. But if not, well, I uh, have an ugly stick which uh, I can put under the back of the front wheel. That'll allow me to uh, change the uh, tube in the field. See there, there's a, an ugly stick that allows me to uh, just push the bike over on the side stand, put the ugly stick under it. I can take the back wheel off. I can also do it at the front by putting it under the uh, the bash plate there. So that's quite a useful uh, handy thing about putting the uh, 12 litre tank on but quite honestly I've never felt the need for it. Uh, fill up about 100 miles. The tank will get you about 130 and I also have here uh, a litre of uh, petrol so that's possibly got to push my range to 150. So, I've never ever needed it before. So the jury's still out on that, we'll see how it goes. The uh, fuel gauge, uh, she was showing two bars. She would never get less than two bars after I owned the bike about a year. I could have maybe had it repaired under warranty, but uh, uh, I just watch the mileage now. Watch the trip and uh, after 100 miles or so, I'll look for petrol. Seems to work out fine. 
the uh, chain still lasting well I'm sure the chain oiler there helps with that that's 11,000 miles on the chain as well still seems to be fine no tight spots I've adjusted it about three or four times and uh, hopefully maybe get 15 or more out of that right that's about it uh, I still love the bike it's easy to maintain it's cheap to run I always get 80 miles a gallon it's comfortable for touring keeps up with the traffic at 60 miles an hour it's a bit breathless for overtaking but I'm quite content to plod along at 60 an hour anyway so unless Honda bring out the uh, 450L I'll probably keep this bike forever <laughs>